welcome to New Zealand. Thanks for joining me, my name is Paul Smith, I'm a photographer based here in New Zealand, the central North Island of New Zealand. I'm on Lake Taupo today, I'm back shooting some film. I'm shooting my Hasselblad 500cm today and I'm shooting a roll of Cat Lab's 80, I think it's 80X, I can't remember what the name of it was, I'll put the name on the screen now for you. Uh, if you have followed my channel you'll know that Alan Ma, a subscriber of mine, kindly donated some film to the channel and this is some of the film that he's donated so uh, I'm just kind of itching to get out and shoot it so today I'm shooting this Cat Labs film I haven't shot it before I've done a wee bit of research on it uh, it looks like a nice film uh, I've also actually got a roll or a part roll of Ilford Penny 50 left on my camera so I'm going to shoot the remainder of that and I think it's kind of interesting because it will make for a nice comparison between the two films it's very similar kind of films I think fine grain slow speed films so we'll compare the two films while we're here uh, I'm going to try and do some long exposures unfortunately I have no information on reciprocity value for this film so I'm going to have to kind of wing it a wee bit I'm just going to kind of experiment with my long exposures the ones I do today uh, what I'll probably do is I'll just use the Ilford Penny 50 range um, for reciprocity and uh, go by that and probably do a little bit either side and uh, just wing it just 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 kind of muck around because that's you know don't be too afraid to play around with stuff so let's get into it let's enough talk let's um let's get into some photography grab yourself a cold one a cup of coffee a cup of tea uh, whatever you fancy put your feet up for 10 maybe 15 minutes uh, relax and join me for some photography and uh, let's shoot this roll of new film that I've got. Let's get into it. Okay, so my thoughts on the film, I'm not big on the technical aspects of film, so I'm going to kind of give you a dummy's opinion of it. Uh, it, it looks nice, it's, it's, an, it's a nice film, uh, it compared quite nicely to the Penny 50, if you're after a, a fine grain, slow film. 
and I think it's a good option. I only took a couple of shots with the Pan Air 50. Like I said at the start of the video, I'd already had a roll of Pan Air 50 in the camera. And here's some of the other shots uh, taken previous to this day. Uh, so you can just have a look at the Pan Air 50. But yeah, the cat labs I think stacks up pretty well. Uh, on the negative side, just a few little kind of things. Uh, packaging of the film was, was okay. It kind of had like a rough paper backing. Something you want to be aware of uh, when you're buying some of these cheaper uh, kind of, I guess, boutique type films. Uh, and when I say cheaper, this, this film was retailing for $5.99 on B&H. I think as a comparison, the Pan Air 50 is a couple of bucks a roll dearer. So it's, you know, it's a fair bit cheaper. And But some of the things you might want to be kind of wary, I'm, I'm always wary of, you know, some of these cheaper films or these boutique films. Uh, a big thing for me is just the thickness of the film itself because it makes a big difference when you're actually feeding onto your spool when you're if you're developing your own film. Um, even though I used uh, this, uh, this is my 120 film roller, which has got the, the larger guides here, which is, makes it a lot easier to, to guide your film in. It loaded okay, but it was a little bit um, thinner than the the Ilford film. I find it difficult to go past the, the better grade films uh, and one of those big reasons is because the film I find on you know the Kodak films and the Ilford films is thicker and it's a lot easier to load and it, you know people might go well you know big deal just just take the time to load it but for me if I'm shooting uh, a roll of 120 or whatever film it might be um, if I go to load it onto the to, to the spool and I have issues and these are my days work gone uh, and especially in some hotter conditions, you know, some of this, this, this thinner film can get more supple and be very, very difficult to load. So even though people might overlook that, it's something to take to take note of. Um, I uh, developed the film in Rodinal. Um, I shot the film at uh, 50 ISO or 50 ASA, which is the same speed I shot the, the Pan F and I developed it in Rodinal, 1 to 25, and I think the development time was one, uh, 6 minutes and 30 seconds. I actually developed the uh, the Pan F50 at the exact same specs as I developed this Cat Labs film, um, simply because I made a mistake when I developed it. I actually thought that I was developing the Cat Labs film, made a bit of an error, and developed it at exactly the same uh, um, uh, concentration at exactly the same time so I was a bit kind of lucky there but uh, so if both films were, were developed uh, under exactly the same uh, circumstances Rodinal 1 to 25 and I developed it for 6 minutes and 30 seconds just regarding the long exposures I, I took several long exposures most of the pictures I took were awful uh, there was the one picture that kind of came out okay I've cropped it back a bit to make something of the image um, but just regarding reciprocity uh, for this film, again, I, I couldn't find any information regarding uh, the failure um, for this film. So I basically what I did is I used the Ilford chart for Penny 50, and for, as an example, I think for a 15-second exposure, I think the reciprocity failure for the Ilford Penny 50 was about 55 seconds. I pushed this out to about a minute and 30 for this shot, just winged it really experimented with it, um, added a little bit of extra time on uh, on top of whatever the the um, the the Ilford chart was showing for Pan F50 and it seemed to work okay. Like I said, most of the shots I took, most of the long exposure shots I took weren't very good. As far as reciprocity failure, uh, I was just using the Ilford Pan F50 chart and probably just add, adding a bit of extra time. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll leave you to make up your own mind on the results from that film, uh, you can kind of make your comparisons between the Pan F50 and uh, this Cat Labs film and you can kind of make your mind up what you think of it. That's all for this episode. If you want to support my channel, you can do so by going to my website and buying my limited edition print pack. I'll put a link to my website up here. My book still at the moment is sold out, but I still have a handful of copies of the limited edition print pack that came uh, with that book. Uh, Stolen Moments limited edition print pack uh, is a collection of five prints, uh, all individually signed and numbered. Uh, I think I'm down to about 10 copies. Uh, like I say, it's a, a, available from the website. Link here for that. Uh, it's available for 25 New Zealand dollars, which is about 15 US dollars or about 10 pound. 
Um, if you want to go and grab my ebook, also uh, that's also available. Emscapes is a collection of uh, images from my Leica photography, my Leica digital photography, my M8 and my M9. It's also available from the website. Same link. Uh, available for 15 New Zealand dollars, which is about less than 10 bucks US and uh, less than 10 pounds or 10 euros. Uh, you do the conversion. It's available from my website. Um, if you'd also like to support me, you can go and follow me on Instagram, go and check out my Instagram feed, uh, and go and check out my, my website and stuff like that. I'll put links below for my Instagram, I'll put links below for the books. Please support the channel, I'd appreciate it. i got to go. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for chilling out with me today, I'd appreciate it. I'll see you soon. Haere from New Zealand. Goodbye.